see it, that's how you know. Oh, oh, oh. What the f oh. is going on? But you're not supposed to be in here. You have to leave. I can't do this anymore. What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I am joined by two special guests, Sam and Colby. Whoa! Let's go! And we are here at one of the most haunted hotels in San Diego, the Horton Grand Hotel. Guys, the backstory to this one is absolutely terrifying and I couldn't do it alone. I had to do it with Sam and Colby. The last video we did broke over 300,000 likes. Yeah, really? man, something like that. Oh, Dude, we like promised it. a part two, we promised to go to the Biltmore Hotel, but they are very occupied and are being very difficult. So we figured until then, we should do another hotel for October. It's almost Halloween. And you know, we got two of the best ghost hunters of all time. Thank you, man. Thank, thank you. Man. These guys are great people, man, seriously. Oh, thank you, man, I appreciate that. We are gonna tell you guys the backstory of this hotel when we go in, get the room. It is haunted by Roger Whitaker. Right? Yeah, Whitaker Roger Whitaker. Whitaker. And we got the haunted room. We got room 309 where he actually got murdered. He was a gambling addict. We'll get into all of that when we check into the room and it's about to be a scary video, guys. Make sure you drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'm not ready, man. Here we go. Oh, hey, come on. Hey, yo, hold on. Damn. I thought this was supposed oh, to be man. an old hotel. Chandelier. Wow. This is really nice. No, this is actually really nice. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> not already, dude. The haunted door. Doors are hard, yeah. man. <laughs> wow. So this was built in, in 1887. Okay. Damn. Damn. Over 100 years old. I believe the murder happened a year after in 1888. So right after it got haunted, so it's been haunted for 130 Sheesh. years? What? 130 years. Wow. Should we go check out the room? Yeah, yeah, should we? We'll check out the room and then we'll explore around. Guys, of course, Sam and Colby brought a bunch of ghost equipment. Let's go check out the room, baby. And it's like a little room. Oh, so it's a four-story hotel. I feel like this is the type with like the fourth floor being like the attic, right? Oh, Jesus, probably yeah, exactly. something like that. I saw three floors. Dude, this is sick. It's not gonna be nice at oh. midnight, though. Oh, oh what? What? No. what the? That's so strange. Bro, what? That's kind of scary, That's man. Sick. How you doing, sir? By any chance, have you experienced anything haunted in this hotel? Everything. Everything? Really? Do you have any personal stories that's happened to you? Yeah, this was 2017. First month working here. That alley over there, I felt that energy coming towards me. Oh man, I felt something coming at you? Yeah, and then one of the housekeepers came down and it went away. Weird. Uh, have you ever felt like actually like, scared, like terrified here? Not like that, but the housekeepers, yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I like the numbers on the doors. Do you think they've definitely renovated throughout the year? Oh, it looks like sure. it, yeah. It yeah. looks a lot Oh wait, so is anything scary in this hotel? He's like, everything. <laughs> what? 309's here, but I guess they do have a fourth floor too. This is it, room 309. Sorry, we seem to be neighbors. <laughs> All right, here. We're in a haunted room. Oh. Have you heard of that story? I have not. Roger I'm not, I'm not in a haunted room. <laughs> I mean, you're next door to it. <laughs> Second hand haunting. Yeah, right? <laughs> have a great night. Uh, thank you, Kevin, I know that. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Whoa, this is Yo. nice. The smell. Yo. Oh man, the smell! It's always the smell. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this is it. About the story, we'll get into it later. Oh. But this is the wardrobe. Oh, that no the guy way. hid in and got murdered in. Didn't they shoot through the wardrobe? Yeah, I'm sure it's like a different wardrobe than this one. Yeah, they yeah. shot through it like a hundred times. Unless but like, they just repaired it a billion times. That would be amazing. It's like a luxurious hotel or something. I know, back right? The day. Nice. It's a street. <laughs> <laughs> historic window, not just a window. It's a well, the original window. window. What's cool about this place is that at one point they were going to demolish it, but instead, everyone loved this building so much much that they dismantled it and relocated it after restoring all of the wood. Even though this is like a moved place, oh. this is the original wood from the original haunting. And is that with like all the other stuff in here too? Yeah. It looks restored. It looks really nice. Yeah. But a good percentage of it is just restored old wood. Dude, buildings. that means energy could have been trapped in that. Should we just open this and just Yeah, do it. Be careful, man. Okay. Oh god. This is really nice. Alright, let's go. Oh, is the bar in here? Dude, this is so nice <laughs> for Actually, being like yeah. an old one place. What? It used to be this building and they took all the pieces away and then remade a new building. So all the like wood and stuff here is from like the old building? Is that our room? No way. That's the room. Is this our room? That's the room. Old version of our same room. Yeah, fireplace. There's the door we were just at. Or the window Why we were just at. I have a picture of a random room. It has to be 309. It has to be. Yeah. There's this one scary thing that Sam and Colby do. We'll explain it later, but you pretty much have to put on headphones and it's a spirit box, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a spirit box that's like constantly channeling like radio waves so you can hear words every once in a while. He's becoming a medium tonight. Hey, to speaking of that, we didn't tell them like we have another special guest coming. Her name is Amanda and she's a medium. 
right? So she can speak to the dead. Look at this. Oh, do horse. not touch, do not touch. Horse! <laughs> Look at this. Here's some stories. Right here, it says Roger Whitaker. A friendly, friendly playful, playful spirit. spirit. Roger has been known to play tricks on many of our guests, willing to spend the night in his room. His oh, room. Shoot, that's, that's us. That's, that's, us. that's, that's us. us. We have the room. Roger, we love you, bro. <laughs> What's over there? Look at that clock. Creepy clock. I was just gonna say that, yeah. So many good places to come to, like at midnight. Or even that alley that that guy was talking about, where he sensed bad energy. We'll ask him where it is exactly. Wait, he said the, the housekeepers are the ones that like know the most stories because they're inside cleaning the rooms. All right, I'm starting to feel the nerves. It's starting to get dark outside. It's about to get real, for real. So many guests have like came up to me like when they're like trying to get their car and they'll say like, hey, uh, so this hotel really is haunted. Like we've seen like our water bottles like move, like sliding like on the desk. Oh. Like they'll say that they've heard like knocking on the walls. They felt chills. Felt chills. Yeah, I've also heard some say that they felt like heat, like a like a wave of heat, like rush over them. What? Um, That's what I think like that walking guy said through inside. like walls and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Anyways, guys, this is Amanda. Hello. If you would like to introduce yourself to the fans out there. I'm Amanda. I'm a medium. I can see and speak to like people that have passed on. So it's something I've always done. It's not something that I practiced or that I asked for, but it's something that I live with, so I'm working with it now, and that's kind of what I do here and on YouTube. Thank you for joining us today. We already checked out the room, so we want to show you the room, and we want to give the backstory. We haven't even told everything to the viewers yet, so you don't know anything about this hotel, right? I don't. I know that there's like one haunted room. And that's what we're in. Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. Always. <laughs> All right, let's go check let's it out. Let's get it! <sighs> So Amanda, just so you know, the ghost's name is Roger Whitaker, okay. and he passed away in room 309. He was a gambling addict, so we brought a deck of cards for the trigger. I think he got killed by his friends, right? Yeah. He there, cheated. He there's cheated. a couple a couple rumors about it, which we'll get into, but yeah. yeah. One of them is that he, he got killed by his own friends. Imagine everything's just upside down. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Oh! Stop it, man. What? Stop that it, was the ghost. That was the ghost. Dude, I just noticed that. What is this? Is this any of ours? Dirty no. ass. Towel. Wait, hold on. Why are you touching it? Yeah. Wait, is it on there? It was right there. It looks like poop. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, what the hell? Why would this be in a completely new room? Let's give you guys the backstory of the hotel and what happened in this very room. Okay. Roger's with us. Stop. Okay. Okay. No, no, dude, dude. dude. <laughs> but like, is he actually though? No, but there is like women here. Like there's, there's a lot of women here? Well, yeah, when I walked in the room, I know that this was Roger's room. He said walking up the stairs, but straight up, like there's a lot of women. Like, oh, presence. damn. Not in this room, just in the hotel. You know what's interesting about that? Is the grounds that this building was built on. It used to be a, a place where probably Guys, so to get into this, back in the 1890s, Roger was a heavy drinker, gambler, and he was also in debt. One night, he was drinking at the bar with his friends and they were all gambling. I guess he won too many times that his friends became suspicious and found out that he cheated. Some people don't take that lightly, but they took it a little, they were a little pissed. A little, a little too right. far. Yeah. But once they found that out, they started shooting at Roger and a bullet actually connected and left him wounded. He didn't die, so what he did is he ran from that bar, leaving a blood trail and he ran back to this room 309 right here I guess his friends followed that blood trail came all the way up to the room and you know that dresser that we saw remember the wardrobe, right yep, there, the yeah. wardrobe in that corner he was hiding in there his friends all just opened fire on that wardrobe and just left him for dead left Dude. his body in there and think about it he wasn't playing the poker game in this hotel he had to run across the street all the way up to a specific room so that's how much blood he was yeah. losing the entire way Dude, that's that's terrifying. I got the chills when I was telling that. Are we gonna talk about Ida? Yeah, there's there's only a little bit about Ida. So Ida was like, she was the pimp. She was the head of the prostitute. And like apparently she roams these halls as well, but there's not many like actual ghost stories about her There's a lot of stories about like what we should be looking out for. Okay. Yeah. Yes, let's read them So what we should be looking out for is the temperature becomes incredibly warm Like the staff said the sound of someone playing cards or shuffling a deck. That's terrifying. Would you guys like to read some of this? Sure. Okay, so the indentation of a body in a freshly made bed That's kind of terrifying and then it says let's see the bed shakes Lights flicker on and off, so the prank you pulled earlier. <laughs> Items in the bathroom move. The wardrobe door opens and closes. Is no. Roger still in there? Stop, dude. I don't know why, like, I mean, I do know why, but like my anxiety just goes through the roof when we film these videos. What if it's Narnia trying to like call us in? <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> the pictures are known to rotate on the walls. Some people hear dancing and footsteps coming from the room above. Oh, wait, 
think we've been hearing that all oh, like every night, dude. Yes, you no, heard we it. Said that. I don't yes. know if it's on camera. Well, we were just talking about that. Like, oh my god, there's so many footsteps upstairs. So it is early. Not gonna lie, it's, it's not like super late yet. Because there's nobody staying up there. Remember? Yeah, he said, he said there's, there's only, only like, two, like two, two or people. three people in the entire hotel. Guys, think about that. In the entire hotel, there's only like three or four guests, including right. us. I think we all got the gist of this place. We all know what to expect, and so do you guys. So we're gonna go explore around the hotel, but before that, we want to set some items around the room to see if they moved or fell by the time we come back. We think cards are definitely a good cards for uh, Mr. Gambler. Mr. Roger. Also, man. the front desk guy said he watched water bottles move across shelves. Oh, yeah. So we should set those We should up. definitely set one. Let's set them somewhere where you could tell that they're gonna, or like, if they move, maybe at the very corner. Just cool. like we did in the Glen Tavern video. Set up a bunch of cards just right on the edge. And the fan is off, by the way. That can't do anything. Is the AC on, off? We should turn it off. Yeah. All right, here we go. Off. Oh yeah, and we're gonna bring the EMF meter in case we sense some energy. If you guys don't know how this works. If there's any energy at all, like it will spike that. Yep, it'll just spike That's up, it. so. All right, let's go. Okay, let's check this side out. I think this is the hallway he was talking about where he sensed that energy. Oh, Whoa, wait, 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 are we going into a new place? Yeah, wait, this is the building we're in. It connects to this building. A second building. It just spiked a little bit. What? That's super weird. It just randomly oh, spiked. It yeah, it's, it's spiking. Oh, oh, whoa, oh that whoa. just spiked Look a at lot. this, look at this. What? It's right when you start going back into the Fort and Grand. Yeah, to the Oh, hotel. you're right. But it's only right there. Let's go see 409, because I want to make sure that there's no one there, because there was like stepping and dancing. Yeah, let's do that. Oh wait, there is people on there. It says do not disturb on 409. Is this the theater? Oh, bro, the theater is right over there. Let's go check it out. Oh, gosh, it's just a random door wide open. Up there. Oh, backstage. Gotta go, we gotta go. So I think we just gotta go. Try, try, try. Save this. No way. Bro, okay, bring a light. I have a flashlight. Do you have a flashlight? Like upstairs. Just use your phone light. I don't think you'd be You're not gonna to see it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it went to red. It went to red. Right before going in here? Bro, should we go get your flashlight? I think so. Yeah, if you guys go get the flashlight, we'll be here. We'll be back in five minutes. No, we'll make it last. One minute. Do you want to stay with us? Yeah, I'll stay. Okay, she brought up a good point. Then what if it's like a trap? They know there's people filming in here. They left the door wide open for us kids who are just trying to explore. <laughs> Did it work? Wait, can you go first? Because, like, you're Sam and Colby. You know what I mean? He always goes first. Whoa, what? Oh, my God. Who's that? Huh? I'm going to check for cameras. That's oh, that's that. crazy. Yo, this is crazy. Wait, I want to I go up there. I hold the flashlight. Oh, it's in here. Oh, hey, we're just looking around. Oh, you're not supposed to be in here. Okay, okay sorry bad. about that. You have to leave. Okay, right. I was going to ask, like, we make YouTube videos about, like, going to haunted places and, like, this hotel is haunted, so I was wondering if you had any experiences yourself with any, like, hauntings or... Yeah, I heard some voices. You know, really? Really? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we were trying to, like, explore just to, like, get something. We're actually staying in the, the haunted room 309 where... Oh, uh, yeah. A place like, you know, like, kitchen. I wouldn't want to go to the kitchen by myself in there. You know what I mean? Hey, we got to ask Let's if we try. could go to the kitchen. Yeah, we yeah. should. Thank you so All much. Right. Appreciate it. Yeah. That guy was really nice, actually. Yo, that was crazy. I thought we were really about to go to jail or something for being in there, but... Uh, no, he, he seemed really, he really chill. Cool. Uh, he has now this Ida Bailey, huh? Well, <laughs> Ida! She's still greedy gentleman callers, and she's not too far off her mark. That's because of the original location of Ida Bailey's Canary Cottage. Right over there, actually, by the front desk, is the original location of the Canary Cottage. Of course, this hotel was a different part of that. Uh, now moving on to room 309, located right over our heads, actually. What happens in room 309 is that guests Claim. Difficult things happen within room 309. Lights turn on and off, doors slam, and things move. However, also in room 309, you have these little card keys that you use to get inside the actual hotel room. You know how modern uh, hotel rooms work. You get a card key, put it in, light turns green, the door opens up, and you can go inside the room. Not for room 309, however. Instead, when guests go up, they put their card key in, the light will turn green, but the door is shut dead bolted, as if something or someone is inside. They try knocking on the door, saying, like, hello? We're inside my room. Hello? No response. They try coming downstairs, going to the front desk, and say, Hey, I'm so sorry, man. I think somebody's in my room right now. Oh, yes. What room would that be? A room 309. Oh, dear. So they get somebody to come by with a master key. They put it in. Light turns green. Door opens just fine. And they go inside, and nobody is there. That they've done investigations on the actual 
walked to the door, and they found nothing was wrong with it. Despite that, they replaced the lock on the door, the handle of the door, and even the door itself. And still to this day, I actually had a group of guests I was staying up here who told me they were going to check into their room and they had to come downstairs while I was giving my tour because they couldn't get inside. Yes, sir! Oh, we're actually staying in room 309 tonight. No way! Yeah, we're trying to like capture like any paranormal stuff. Like we have some ghost equipment and stuff, so. Oh, perfect! We got some EMF meters and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect! That's so great! But what a crazy <laughs> thing to Do you want to go see the room? Yes! So, little uh, backstory. We just saw there was a tour going on, so we kind of put ourselves in it. Dude, no, you didn't put yourself. You're taking over the tour right now, bro. They're following you. Follow now, me, bro. guys. <laughs> yeah, he was talking about 309, but we're here, bro. Like, what we did was like we left stuff on the counters already. Yeah, like a deck of cards. Right. We just yeah. just to see if anything moves, right. like stuff like that. So. All right, guys, nothing was holding it back this time. So just continuing with the rest of our tour <laughs> inside here, of course, I mentioned about some other hauntings that occur here. Well, they also claim, of course, as our guests have here, they left some cards out, and they have also left out what they claim is, you know, you leave some loose change all around the room, a deck of cards, and you go out for your evening here in San Diego, or if you're going to be spending your night here, you will be very surprised if you come back from your evening or wake up the next morning to find your cards have been dealt out into two hands, and your coins are stacked up all around the room like little poker chips. Now on top of that, don't be surprised if you happen to feel some cold hands wrapping around your shoulders, you know, typical, or cold hands wrapping around your ankles right here, and upon waking up, finding at the foot of your bed, a man dressed in cowboy regalia, slowly disappearing before your eyes. Sounds like our gambler, Mr. Roger Whitaker. Did you spot something in a picture or no? It might be just a light. A little lens flare? Yeah. Maybe. It's a toughie yeah. sometimes. Of course, with the light here, it might just be a lens flare. However, if you guys find those more really circular and kind of greener white looking orbs, those are the spirit orbs. Can we turn it off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. want to turn it off? Okay. Mm. Uh, well, Mr. Whitaker, Mr. Earp, if you're here right now, I'm, I'm a big fan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what just happened? What was man? that? Dude, you just took over the tour. <laughs> the way you raised your hand and waited to be called on. like I was in school. <laughs> that was sick. They took a bunch of pictures. Did they get anything? I did. She I actually took, caught an orb. I took, I always do, even in like my childhood pictures. I took two right in a row, like one right after the other. Here was the first one. Here was the second one. The thing that I'm, oh, yo, the thing that I'm thinking of, could it be that flash though? That's what I was wondering. So here's the thing. Like I said, growing up, I had a lot of orbs and pictures. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you. I don't know if like you know what they look like. I'll show you what they look like. Okay. This is like I have so many orbs in my childhood pictures. Whoa. Wait, so that looks so like the same picture. one? Yeah. Doesn't no, it? Yeah. So yeah, those are almost identical. Did you feel anything? I feel the women still, and this is weird because while it was happening, so a lot of times spirits, I don't let them touch me. But while I was standing. Standing here, I felt a woman come up and literally like brush some of my hair out of my face. What the? Right now? And it was while everyone was in here with the tour, and I've been feeling that woman presence like since we got here. I'm really interested to see when we do the seance what kind of answers we're gonna pick up on because there's definitely something here. All right, guys, so we have amazing news. The security guard that we met earlier introduced us to the guy who owns the kitchen, where supposedly a lot of haunted stuff has happened there, and he's letting us go back there. Dude, this never happens. Like, I know. This is awesome. I know. I'm really. No way, she oh. won't. Deadbolt. Like they say. Wait, what? Like they say. Are you joking? No, no, one of the lights on. You're kidding. What? You said it no, would go green the... also. Oh, what the f was that? No way. I wish someone someone else tried that, but I am 100% not with you at all. You're lying. Like, I would just say a hot Also, look joke. at that pillow. Look at that pillow. Did anybody touch that? Um, no. I didn't touch that pillow. That was perfect when we left. Yeah. yeah. Bro, it's starting to get real. Right as you were saying, all right, let's go to an investigation. It's actually kitchen. starting to get real it's right now. It's also freezing in this room, and we turned off the air conditioning when we left it the first cold. time. Oh, yeah. And the fire was on. Yeah. Holy crap. Holy, I can't bad. believe that just happened. Okay, that was so crazy. Grab the equipment. So what, so what equipment? are we bringing to the kitchen? I'd say let's bring it all. All right, let's do it, man. So you were saying that some servers actually experienced, like, actually seeing stuff? That is correct, yeah. Um, I have, like, three or four servers that mentioned seeing stuff in there. Hopefully you guys got lucky. This is going to be insane, man. So he said to the left, there's two walk-in freezers that we can go in. <laughs> yes, let's go into the freezer. So there's electrical, right? Whoa. Yeah. Went to a red though? Damn. A lot of energy. But also, like, when there's this much energy involved, 
one place spirits can draw from that. That's, oh, Jesus. There's a freezer, That's where guys. all the dead bodies are. Oh, no. Oh, it's cold. Hey, you want to go in there? Why not? Yeah. Hey, yo, 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 yo. yo. Please, please, man. Not now. All right. What are we working with here, man? To start off, we got a thermal gun. It's just a radar that detects heat. Favorite? <laughs> this is my favorite. Oh, no. Red pod right here. We can set that up. That'll detect any physical touch. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did that light just turn off? Unless someone's in here. Oh, yeah, someone's in here. Someone's in here. Oh, shoot, that's What's going on? So if this detects something, it'll just go off like that. Yes, yeah. anything around it, just like boop, boop. Noise. And you guys said this is rare for it to go off, right? Very rare. It's only happened like a handful of times. Uh, you want to introduce this yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, oh no, yeah. is this the coffin one? This is the scariest device we have. Hey, have you seen this yet? No. So it's a music box. Basically, there's a sensor right in front of it. If anything goes in front of it, it will do this. So I'm going to turn it on and it's going to calibrate really quick. Point it towards this way. This is scary. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that way? Is that? Oh, oh. it's pointing this way, right? There's no way that's you, is it? Is it Noah's? Wait, whoa, listen! Oh, wait, whoa, no, wait, what the f? Wait, 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 look, 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 look. Red Red Pill's going off already. Dude, it is, it is, it is. It's going, what the f? It's going off. Yo, 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 yo. It's pointing that way. Wow, I can't, I can't see anything there. The Red Pill and the music box lighting up again. What is going oh, on whoa. already? It's been five seconds. Yo, and this is still going off. That known in any way, shape, or form. This is what is known as addressing. It lets us know that the spirits are here and they're willing to communicate with us and that we're open and willing to communicate with them. So, of course, if there are any spirits in this area right now, we are open and willing to communicate. Thank you so much. Yo, immediately. That answered you. That yeah, was answered answer you. Immediately. Both of those happened at the same time and then when you addressed it, immediately. It right off. That's insane. It's terrifying. It was going off like... Genuinely, dude, I, mean, I got layers, but dude, it is hot. Hey, this is—we're actually experiencing what we were told we would experience. Ida's name, would you like to ask? Yes, so um, Ida Bailey, of course, she actually haunts from 209, but she's known to peruse around here because this side of the hotel loves her. Okay. I don't know if she's here right now, but for any of you old cucks here, thank you very much. Oh, 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 o
Yeah, they seem so nice. Yeah, they are. I'm, this how uh, this entire hotel I feel like has very good vibes. Should we take this upstairs? Let's yeah, do it. Kick this out. Okay, guys, it's time for the scariest part of the night: the seance. Amanda, I actually want you to explain what we're gonna do. Protect us here tonight. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. That's wait, the temperature. Wait, wait, wait. Temperature? It's rising, bro. So right when we're getting ready to like start getting into it. And if there's something here with us, can you make this sound go off? I can't feel my body right now. Dude, this is great. Like, we should start. That's okay, okay, really let's start. Let's so, start. um, a seance, like, basically, for those of you who have never seen anything on, like, the spooky channel, Sam and Colby do this a lot. We're gonna open a line of communication with the spirits in this hotel, in this room, like, really just any spirits of the Horton Grant. Oh my gosh. Wait, so this is rare? Yeah. Do like, like this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's okay, so we should definitely get started then. We're gonna start with, um, like, asking for protection. We only want spirits of positivity to come through. I don't deal with anything negative. And then we can go through asking questions too. You guys okay. open. That like answered you, but it, it has twice now. We're gonna open. I'm gonna start by uh, introducing myself. I'm Amanda. This is Colby, Sam, Brian, Noah. I think that we're all guests of the hotel. None of us have ever been here before. We'd like to open a line of communication with the spirits of this hotel. We ask for only spirits of positivity, love, and light to come through. We're not open to communicating with anything negative. And I'll be able to tell the difference. If there are any spirits in the room with us, can you make one of our devices go off? You can come near the red light on the floor, or you can walk past this area. You can make noises, knocks. Oh, I think I'm sorry. I think yeah. Does anyone else want to ask anything? Roger Whitaker. Oh, what the? F Immediately. That was perfect timing. That was insane. Roger, was that you? Could you turn that off if that was you? What no. the? F no. like, what Yo. the f Roger's with us right now, guys. That was too perfect. Dude. Roger, if you'd like to talk to us tonight, if you'd like to communicate, we'd love that. Can you just give us any other sign that you're here? You give us a knock or a tap or any sort of sound around the room. I'm gonna ask him to try to like mess with the cat ball. Okay. Okay, Roger, we come in peace. If you are here with us right now, if you can make the cat ball device go off, that would be amazing. Please come right up and touch it. So it's this little silver ball right here. It's next to the device that you've been messing with. Does that just like make you wonder if sometimes they can't mess with certain things? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And isn't it weird now, just like viewers out there, that the music box and the cat ball haven't gone off since? Yeah. So how do you explain the kitchen? The kitchen how do you probably explain was that? different spirits for sure. Yeah. Or something. Like, how were all those going off at once and now nothing? And that was, everything was going off and now nothing. Dude, that was at the cat ball with the Ren, with that at the same time. At the same time. For sure. Oh. It agreed. It, it agreed. Dude, it's... Dude, it gives me chills every time that happens. I'm like, oh. Oh, this shit. is absolutely terrifying. It's gonna go off right now. So we're gonna put this in the closet where he was supposedly murdered. Sorry, Noah, you get the first look. Should I put the cat ball in there as well? Hold on, that's me. Wait. Get out of the way now. Maybe like stand up. Oh, wait, the cat ball going off. Cat ball's going off. Look, look, stand up. Look, music box is on right now. Dude, holy f Dude, you didn't get close to that, did you know? No, no. Oh, this is the fastest it's ever look gone for us. Is going. Ever, ever. We said two minutes ago, why is it going so slow? And now it's just, it's slowing down again. What the f happened? Dude, I can't. My body, I can't. There's like a lot of energy in that wardrobe. <gasps> it's going faster. Oh my god. Roger, if that's you, can you please move the cat ball one more time? Or. Hit the red pod. This was going so was slow so before. It sounded like slow. it was about to die. It has not gone this fast in like months. Oh oh my God. God. Let's make it sure. out of it. Should I turn it off? Yeah, just click it back. Stay just should, we, should we maybe stay? Oh, no, we'll, we'll stand right back here. Okay, no one's in front of this. Roger, if you are in the wardrobe, give us some sort of sign. The cat ball, REM pod, or spirit box. Oh, oh yes. Holy shit. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Dude, those are the hardest to make go off, man. Dude. Dude. Oh my, there's something in there, bro. There is something in there. Dude, dude, dude. Roger might be standing like right there. But then would the spirit box go off again? You would think so, and what if he's just sitting there? Maybe he's sitting there. Hmm. Holy crap. Oh, is 
the footsteps, the footsteps. Yeah, the footsteps, yeah. The footsteps. He's just throwing it out, idea. Yeah. But if he's just sitting in there with the cat ball and the rim pod just going off, maybe that is the sign that like someone should sit in there and do this. <laughs> you have <laughs> <that. laughs> Sit. The activity's all in there, and you want me to sit there? I think the viewers want you to sit there. <laughs> Guys, please drop a like for this. I'm serious. That's all I ask for. Okay, so I can move everything now? Okay, now what? Do I have to get comfortable? I'm ready. I'm ready to <laughs> You want to? Yes, yes. Let's just do it, please. Dude, he's going all in. Hey. You're, you're down to do the S this time? Holy sh- What? 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 Dude, what? I didn't what? move. I didn't move. I swear to- Wait, holy that just no, that going on. Oh, I swear to God, I didn't move in there and I heard something. I'll go back, but like- You don't I, have to. No, it's fine. It's fine. Was that your hand, maybe? No, it's not, dude. No, it's not. It's- Oh my God. Dude, it's the deck of cards triggering it, too. And we don't see this. Like, this is crazy. Dude, and see where the light is shining That's over there? The that means it's over there. That I put the- Oh my God, it's going even it's, further. Oh my- Wait, yo. Oh, guys, look at- Bro, it's, it's going straight to the closet, it's bro. Intense. Stop. Stop. I can't it's move. It's pointing the light at the closet. Wait, what is going on? Something is right there. So uh -huh. What is that? Do you have the EMF? Could you just point that to the charging that just so people know? See that? Yeah, see? I thought they could have been like energy coming out of that or something. It's so cold right here. This does not happen. Can you follow us? Follow all of us over here, okay? Is it too slow? It's, it's, it's slow. It's slow. <gasps> oh, sh Holy Did crap, you, you that? heard that? It sounds like someone is walking towards us. Dude, stop. Dude, it's getting slower it's getting for sure. Slower. Yo, that's just such a good sign. I, I do think we should try the spirit box. Basically what we're gonna do, like, we're gonna take away your senses so you can't know what's going around like the room while it's happening. But we're gonna be answering, asking questions. We're gonna be asking some questions around and the spirit can talk through this device. It just scans radio frequencies and you're just gonna call out what I hear. And so hopefully, ideally what this means is that your answers shouldn't be influenced by what we ask because you won't hear what we ask. Of course. So these will be completely real, 100% answers. You could not be making this up even if you try it. Now, should I do this in there? Of course. It's just hard for me to breathe. Good Thank luck, you, man. Appreciate you. Yeah. Oh my god, okay. This is for the viewers. This is what he's gonna be hearing. Like, and this is, these are noise canceling, so he's not gonna be able to hear us at all. You ready? I'm ready. So, as soon as I put these on, you guys are gonna start asking questions. We're gonna right? start as soon. And just tap me if anything happens, or I'll take them on. Okay, cool. Okay. And just so audience knows, rim pod and music box are set up right here, too. Yeah, power and everything? Everything's ready. Yeah. All right, okay. so let's figure out the story of Roger. Here we go. All right, he can't hear us or see us. Just to prove it. <laughs> Your rug. Rug. Hello? Okay. Can you hear anything? Alright, if there's a spirit that wants to talk to us, can you say your name? Hello? Hello, hello. Yeah, we want to talk to you. We just want to communicate. All coming in good vibes. Uh, but we just want to know if we're talking to Roger himself. Can you say yes? Who knows? Who knows? Are you Roger Whitaker? Or have you ever heard of the name Roger Whitaker? Here. Oh my god. Were you here earlier when you made the rem pod go off for Colby? Handle. Door handle. The door handle wouldn't open? When we were trying to open the door earlier, there was a deadbolt in there. Was that you, Roger? Here. Who's there? Roger, do you not like people coming into your room? Are you tired of, after the last 130 years, people always being in here? Are you an angry spirit? Because you got murdered here? Five? Five. There were five aces in the deck instead of four. He had extra aces, yeah. I, I honestly, like, it's hard to... Dude, every, you, you said like five, right? Or like yeah, four or five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You answered every single one, right? You're lying. Swear you to know, God. Everything made Watch sense the footage. You said. Everything what you was said. five? I said five, right? Yeah, we didn't ask any questions, but we were trying to think. There Weren't there like five aces in the deck? Uh, is there anybody here? You're like, hello. It's hard to hear, but like you could hear that like faintly. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's the whole yeah. point of it is like most of them should be completely inaudible. It's only the ones that spirits give more power to. I, I can't do this anymore. No, I get. Oh, f 
I'm sorry, Rob. That's right when that goes time. off. That is the first time anything's gone off. That's the first time. The REM pod went off right when I said I can't It's still blinking over there. Dude, that hasn't gone off the entire time. Yeah, that didn't Since go off a single this. bit until you stood off and you said, no, I'm done. I want one of you guys to try it. I'll do that. All right. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I know. This feels it feels weird. Dude, guys, this has to be one of the scariest videos I've ever filmed in my life. So we're gonna put the cat ball over there so you can see it. I think it's ready for Sam to go under. By the door. By the door. Watch the cat. Are you by the door, Roger? Are we still talking to Roger? Behind. Stop. Behind who? By the beds or by the door? Holy oh, oh, Holy what? I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. That thing went off right when it said behind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just freaked out. Holy sh**, bro. We literally bro. said behind where, and then that went off. Okay. You want to go back in? Sure. Okay. Roger, are you still in here? Ha 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 ha. My no. Laugh. No. Oh my f God. Right the the red. Holy sh**. Dude, hold After it. the laughing? Hey, he started laughing. He said he likes to play jokes. Yeah, he's a trickster. Patient. You That's literally just pulled a prank Try on Try again. Roger, are you still here with us? Yes. Oh my gosh. Can you make something go off again? Goodbye. Oh no. They've never said goodbye yeah. to us. What? Wow. Roger, are you, are you leaving us? You know I want to talk? Did that sound like what is that? Shit. It's rumbling. Yeah. Like almost like an earthquake, you know? Uh, yeah. Danger. Danger. Yo, if it's getting dangerous, like, can we end it? or can we... Are we in danger right now, Roger? Should we leave? <gasps> oh, 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 he made the to go off. Yeah. God, I don't know if we should continue. Right, yo, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, 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 yo wait, yo, can yo, we yo. stop it? Can we stop it? What, what, what? We were asking, like, are we in danger? And you went, yeah. And the music, and the music. Are, you, are you in danger? Boom, that started going off. Should we okay. leave? Okay, we were 100% that's like Roger. Yes, yes, no, he laughed at you and then made our, all of our stuff go off. Yes, he laughed. He said, you said, you said ha, 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 and he made that go off and the rent pot. That's, I, okay, I really want to go. Okay. Oh, my God. Um, dude, that's crazy. Guys, we're going to end the video there. Probably one of the craziest experiences of my life. I've never been this scared in my life. Thank you, Sam and Colby. Thank you, Amanda, for helping me out with this and just being here with me because this is freaking terrifying and I, I want to go. Dude, <laughs> oh my and God. still, again, I swear to God, this video showed like the most evidence like we've gotten a long time. A long time. I've never seen nuts. the REM pod ever work like that either. You picked a good place to come. This is definitely haunted. And Roger's definitely in this room. 350,000 likes. All four of us will do another adventure at maybe like a haunted house or another crazy hotel. We got up the level this time. We promised a part two in the first one. Here's the part two. We captured probably the craziest thing I've ever seen. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Other than that, it's been Rug, Amanda, Sam, Colby, and go subscribe to their channels. Yep. Peace out.